Lomax back and today we're going to be unboxing a gravity feed of the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Heroes in a Half Shell Hero Clicks. So without further ado we'll just jump into opening these and looking at the figures. Probably won't get too in depth I'll just show you the figure in the card. Not like this run super long. So the first one we have is a, uh, a 1984 comic series foot soldier with katana, twin katanas. Uh, looks like the foot ninjas can use sidestep and stealth and blade claws fangs. There's the miniature. And that one's going to be a common. Seraton and there's his card. This is the model. And there's the back of the card. He is from the eighty four comic series. There's the common Donatello. Same model as the one from the Fast Forces, but they do have different abilities. This one's only 60 points, as the one from Fast Forces is 75. But it's going to be the same miniature. There's Leonardo. Again, another common. Going to be the same model wise as the one from the Fast Forces pack. But this one's only 60 points. And he is going to have different abilities. Looks like we get a good one. Here's another Foot Ninja from the comic series. 30 points. He's going to have Katar. And he's going to have the same Foot Clan abilities. It is going to be the sidestep and stealth and the blades close fangs. There's Casey Jones. This Casey is going to cost you 60 points. He does have some different abilities. But I think I like the Fast Forces Casey Jones a little bit better. And there's another Triceraton. Yay! So there's a duplicate. Oops. 
Looks like a good one. There's Krang. Super rare, I think. And Krang's card actually folds out. So there's a lot to Krang's card. Krang has seven clicks of health. He has 160 points. And this Krang is from the 2012 animated series. I think it all opened one of these fast forces at home without filming it and I only got one super rare in the whole box so hopefully we'll do better with this one another foot ninja and this one has a three segment staff so instead of blades close fangs he can make a power action, make a close combat attack targeting up to three adjacent opposing characters. Hit characters reach dealt one damage instead of normal damage and given an action token. That's pretty cool. More foot soldiers are always good. And here we have Rock Steady. Which, from looking at these before, Rocksteady, Bebop, and Shredder really work well together. They all three synergize, uh, excuse me, synergize really well. Uh, Rocksteady has six clicks of health at 80 points. And his abilities sync with Shredder and Bebop. Sorry about that. Here's April O'Neil. This April has four clicks of health for 25 points. So, seems a little bit better. Um, I think I like the abilities from her Fast Forces one better. This one, she just causes an opposing character up to four squares away to get a minus two to their breakaway rolls. Bebop again. Uncommon. Um, again, like I said, with Rocksteady, really works well when you have these on a team with Shredder and Rocksteady and Bebop, so that you can use their abilities. Bebop is 80 points, 6 clicks of health. And as you can see on the card, several abilities. And here we have. Who is this? Irma. Uh, Irma's ability, she can pick to be a 25 point 
or a 60 point character. Uh, basically, this is, I think, from the 2012 animated series. Um, I think it may be Krang. Not really familiar with these new, with the new series of cartoons. More of an old school comic and uh, 87 cartoon series. So, Hidden Krang Subprime, Stop Irma Can Use Invulnerability. And that's just Irma. Irma can use Perplex and doesn't block friendly characters. Lines of Fire. Here we have another 1984 comic series Foot Soldier for 30 points. The three segment staff again. Here's the 2011 comic series Rat King. He's 100 points, six clicks of health. Uh, rats everywhere, I am everywhere. Give Rat King a free action. If he occupies hindering terrain, place him in another square of hindering terrain within six squares. Pawns in my game, Rat King can use stealth. He can use mind control as if he had a range value of six. And when he does, he can use whatever those are. I'm not too familiar with the game. I really just collect these. Uh, game for the world. Right King can use Perplex and Probability Control. Set that aside. Take him out. It's a pretty nice looking miniature. Don't know if I really like this Right King or not. But. There he is. And I think he's a super rare. Crank may be Chase. Again, you know, just let me know in the comments, guys. I'm fairly new to Hero Clicks because I've never really bought any until the Turtles came out, so I'm still learning these sim what the colors mean. I know this is a uncommon. That's Fugitoid. And this Fugitoid is from the 84 comic series. He's 50 points, 5 clicks ahead. comic series Leonardo he has 100 points 6 clicks of health can use stealth and toughness uh, Leonardo can use leadership uh, when he does increase the result by 1 for each adjacent friendly character with the TMNT keyword so he finally becomes leader in this set. Unlike the last set. What do we have here? This is a 2012 animated series. It's gonna be Squirrelanoid. Really don't know who this guy is. So you got six clicks of health for 60 points. Gonna be the 
gravity feed version of Raphael. Five clicks of health, 60 points. Uh, he can use Battle Fury and Shape Change. And he gets Blades, Claws, and Fangs. And adjacent opposing characters can't use Blades, Claws, Fangs. And then here he's got a few more abilities. Here's the 2011 comic series Donatello. Six clicks of health, 100 points. Can use stealth and toughness. Uh, ride the bow when Donatello hits an opposing character. After actions resolve, you may place that character within Donatello's range and line of fire. Keen turtle intellect at the beginning of your turn, choose one. At whip, perplex, or support. Donatello can use the chosen power until your turn. And these are pretty cool. As you can see, the the clear like swooshing effect off of his bow staff. It's pretty awesome. And all all the turtles I've seen out of this set are the miniatures of you know. Uh, the turtle ones of the 2011, I think, comic series turtle ones are really nice. They all have the clear, like, swooshing effects coming off of them. And uh, I really enjoy the foot soldiers from this set. Yeah. I think it's a toss up on some of the other characters from this set. So, yeah. All in all, mix both sets together. You know, you're going to have some nice figures out of each set. And here we have Chen Khan, the 1988 comic series. This, this miniature just looks horrible. I'm sorry. But he's going to have six clicks, 75 points. his card and he's going to be an uncommon and here we have 84 comic series we have Graviturtle I think that's another chase Gravity Whip Fling. When Gravity Turtle hits an opposing character, give that character an action token, and it can't make close attacks until your next turn. Super Turtles counted off. Once per turn, when an adjacent friendly character with a TMNT keyword hits an opposing character, after actions resolve, you may roll a d6 on a result of 4 to 6. Remove an action token from that friendly character. Then he has several other abilities. So, and this, this is another one that can be bought, I guess, in two different point values. At 75 and 50. Really love that miniature. <laughs> That's probably my favorite one. I'm glad I got it. Here we have Michelangelo. Uh, Michelangelo out of the Gravity Feed has Party Dude. When Michelangelo or any other friendly character with a TMNT keyword makes an attack, roll attack rolls of 11 are also critical hits. And sewer skating. If Michelangelo is indoors, he can use hypersonic speed. If he's outdoors, he can use sidestep. He has five clicks of health and he has 60 points. That could be, it's gonna be all of them. It's gonna be the last one. Can we get another chase or super rare? No. But it is a cool looking comic series. 
foot soldier with shurikens. As you can see, he's got the cool throwing action going on there. Uh, he does have the sidestep and stealth. Shuriken Weapon of Distraction. Unique modifier. When Foot Ninja hits with a range attack, hit characters modify their attack and defense values by minus one until your next turn. So, awesome. A lot of new foot soldiers, a lot of new turtles, a lot of new supporting characters. All in all, happy. Uh, my first box was kind of a dud. Uh, this box a lot better so I want to thank y'all for you know sitting through this <laughs> watching me unbox these um, hopefully later we can get some games filmed or you know maybe get into some tactics videos on what you know what kind of teams go best together or how to use their abilities together so again, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and as always, keep on gaming.